Let me get my life together here. Let me get my notes up. I'll be waiting for a couple people to come on here. I see one, but I can't see who it is. Sorry. Pull up my email because I got my notes in my email. Okay. Let me do one more thing. Welcome to Thursday, sit down <laughs> for 2021, our first one for 2021. I could probably have come up with a better name, but it wasn't happening. So um, Thursday, sit down it is. So I wanted to talk about parties. And as most, if not all of you know, I don't do a lot of parties and I like to change that. Um, I've done better. Don't get me wrong. I have done better. Uh, and we can do better every day as we know. So, um, I talked to a couple of people in our group who have, hi there, who have um, uh, pretty great sales, have been doing really great over the past six plus months. And uh, I knew that one of the big things that they do is parties. So, I wanted to talk to them and get some advice from them so I could come to you with it along with um, some of the things that I already do um, and talk about parties because that's what our company is based on is parties. Um, it's a great way to grow your customer base. It's a great way to grow your team. So we'll talk a little bit about that. If you don't know already, I'm also a little scatterbrained sometimes, so I have notes everywhere. Where to go? There we go. Okay. So, first of all, okay. Uh, first of all, welcome to 2021. I almost said 2020. It's 2021 now. Um, we got some crazy stuff going on in 2021, but whatever. Um, I know that some of you guys had really great successes in 2020. Uh, some of you guys um, didn't do a whole lot in 2020. That's okay. That's up to you. Um, but I do think that no matter what happened in 2020, it's a whole new year now, so you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to do better, well, I think we all want to do better, right? Let's all have a better 2021 than we did 2020. Um then let's do it together. So I talked to a couple of people. I'm not going to call them out if they want to say who they are, then they can. But I talked to a couple of people on our team who have pretty high PRV each month. Um, and who, again, who I know, uh, do a lot of parties. Um, I don't do a lot of parties. I have really never done a whole lot of parties. Uh, most of my orders come from individual orders, um, from my customers that know me. Um, and you know, events and things like that. So that's just how I roll. But, um, I knew that I needed to make a change and do some more parties because obviously, as we know, most of the events last year were canceled and, um, my PRV is good, but I would rather it be higher. And, you know, if you want higher PRV, parties are probably going to be part of it. Um, although don't get me wrong, there are plenty of ways to work your business. So I'm going to go through these um, suggestions or um, ways that people party um, and specifically focusing on online parties um, to, and I'll tell you why I really appreciated the feedback that I got because um, 
I've watched a lot of trainings on parties and that's fine, but it never seems to stick. But when I, when I looked at what these two had to say to me about parties and how they run their parties, it really just made so much sense. And I'm like, duh, Jessica, like, what are you doing, girl? <laughs> so, um, okay, first one. Um, host coaching is very important. If your host could care less, so will the customers. That is the truth. And that's something that I knew already, but that is completely the truth. You have to host to coach your hostess. And I'm going to, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I will post a, uh, one thing in here that one of the girls sent to me about host coaching. Um, and I'll read it off to you real quick. Uh, this should be, oh, let's see here. Want to be the host with the most? Listen up. Uh, I have three simple rules. Yes, just three to have a successful Cincy party. Rule number one, communicate. Communicate. This should be a general life principle for you, but if it isn't, let me lay it down. Your guests probably don't know me, which means they probably don't care about my successes. Um, I can post a million times, but until you do, your party isn't going to go anywhere. Uh, talk to your guests. Tell them you're having a party. Tell them how awesome Cincy is. Tell them what you ate for breakfast if you want to. Tell them why you want them to help you get that wish list. I know you've already picked out. Uh, personally invite them to the party. Tag them in posts of the products they'll like. Cheer them on in games. Comment on my posts and make your own. Number two, read rule number one. Number three, read rule number two. So basically, it's all about communication. Your host is your window, door, whatever you want to call it, to these customers that you want to reach so that your host can get her rewards or his rewards and so that you can get the PRV, right? Um, maybe we even want to turn this into a new consultant in your downline. So we need that possible new consultant because every host is a possible new consultant. Let's just lay that out right here. If you don't know about the earner kit, the host exclusive kit that a host can earn, um, Read up on that. Go to the FAQs. Just go to Workstation and search. Uh, I think you can search Earn a Kit or even just Kit and it'll probably show up for you. Um, it'll give you all kinds of information on the Earn a Kit, the host exclusive kit. Um, but your host can earn their kit. The, the most they're going to pay is $59. The least they're going to pay, zero. That's amazing, right? Um, and... Your host has to be the one communicating with your customers. Yes, you're going to be putting the information out there. What we have, why it's great, you know, all the different product categories, stuff like that. And I'll go about, I'll go over that here in a second. Um, but if your host, who is the person who knows these people already, doesn't communicate, doesn't participate, doesn't really give a crap, then your customers aren't either. Your guests and the party are not going to worry about it because the person who invited them apparently doesn't care either, right? Um, and I like to uh, tell my hosts that they need to invite less than 50 people and they need to send each person a message to ask them. I do have them post on their page once or twice during the party and say, hey, you know, i got a party going on. Who wants, to, uh, who wants me to send them an invite, right? But... I also like them to send personal messages that just say, hey, I'm hosting a Scentsy party. Would you like to come? I know you like Scentsy or I know you like Smell Goods. Would you like to come? Make it simple. It doesn't have to be super hard. Um, but if they message them personally, that's a, that's a personal invite from somebody. It's not just mass inviting. First of all, you can't just mass invite people to groups. I'm the person who hates when people does that to me. And if you add me to a group without asking, I'm probably going to delete, delete you or at least unfollow you because I don't like to be added to groups without my, without being asked first. And there are a lot of people that are like that. And not only that, it makes it so much less personal. It's like, oh, this person just, you know, clicked select all and sent invites to everybody. There was no real reason for them inviting me to this party. They didn't really want me there. They just wanted me to come in and buy something to help them out, you know? It's not something where they thought of me and they thought, oh, hey, I think you would really like this. Do you want to come to the party? You got to make it a little more personal than that. So, host coaching is a must. 
And let me tell you something, I'm the worst for that. Because I'm like, oh, I don't want to text this person or I, I don't know what to say to this person. You got to get out of your head. And I have to get out of my head. Like you just, you have to get out of your head. You got to, you got to talk to them. Because if you don't talk to them, they're not going to know what to do. If you don't remind them multiple times that they need to be sending personal messages or that they need to, you know, check in with their people. Hey, can we help you find anything on the site? Hey, can we help you, you know, uh, pick out scents? I saw that you liked this post. Um, can we help you with anything? Um, and they need to interact with these customers too. I, I try not to advertise parties as, hey, I do all the work and you just show up. Because it's not really, yeah, sometimes it's fine, I guess, but it's not, it's not gonna work in the long run. It's not really gonna make your, it, it, it's not gonna make it sound like your host does need to communicate with their people, because they do. It's gonna make it sound like you're gonna communicate with the people and they're just gonna watch as people magically order from their party and they get rewarded for it, right? It's not how it works. Um, you might have maybe one a year that does that, but maybe not even that much. So ho coach your host. I've seen many, many um, host coaching checklists that have been floating around on the internet too. So I'm sure that we can find some, some checklists for everybody. Um, I actually, speaking of Visley, which I'm going to say a little bit about next, um, Visley is a, a, an a, a website that posts into your groups for you. And you can put, temp you can make a template, which is just, you know, basically a bunch of posts at certain, you know, to be posted at certain times or whatever. Um, and I saw one that was about host coaching and I'll share that co the code for that in here. There are template codes where you can share the template with others so they can use it too. And I'll share it in here. And I want you to go on visley.com, make you a an account. It's totally free. You don't have to pay for it. Um, once you are, you know, linking multiple groups, then you have to pay for it. I have the paid version. But um, just to look at templates, you don't have to pay for it. And, and if you just want to hook it to your VIP group or something like one group, not a problem. It's free. Um, but you can look at the template and see what, uh, what the, uh, consultant was coaching on, what she was telling the, the host and how many times she was telling the host that same thing, because she had a lot of reminders in there. So she, what, I guess what she did was she made a second Facebook, one Facebook group for the party and another Facebook group for her host only. I don't know if I'm going to do it this way. I may just do it through text or something like that, but it was good to have something to look at, to go by. Um, and she would, she would schedule that. She scheduled the posts in there that way each day or whatever day she specified, the person had a certain task to do or was reminded of a certain task that she needed to do. Like, you know, Hey, make sure you're reaching out to your customers or to your friends, uh, make sure you're, um, making a post in the group, go live in the group, you know, show something or other in the group. Um, that way they were reminded because listen, we all have busy lives. Let me tell you something. Um, last year I tried the method of doing the party packs and having a sheet in there that had a point system on it where people could earn a chance at a prize, right? And it never specified on there what the prize was. But I didn't have one person who took the time, literally, I mean, like, it would have taken them five minutes, if that, but not one person tracked points for any of the parties. None of them. None. And I was like, these people don't even want to track points for anything, like... And everybody was like, oh, well, you know, we're, we're busy. You know, we, we're just, we've just been busy and stuff like that. Well, okay then. So scrap that idea. I think it works fine for some people. For my people, it really didn't because they just didn't even bother. Even though I was posting in the group, you know, make sure you're keeping track of your points, right? Um, people were just not doing it. So scrap that idea. The less work it is for the customers, the better it is. It's going to be a little bit more work for your host. Your host, like I said, is going to have to communicate with them. She's going to have to participate or he. 
and they're going to have to share their love for Cincy too. I can share my love for Cincy all day, but if my host doesn't do it, why are they going to listen to me? They don't know me, you know? Most of them won't know me because it's the friends and family, co-workers, whoever, of the host, not of me. So if the host is sharing things, they're a lot more likely to listen to experiences and pay attention, you know? Um, let's see. I want to go through the rest of these and tell you guys the other tips that they gave me. And then I'm going to show you an example of a party pack that I sent out. Now, this is a little bit different than those party packs that I was talking about with the, um, with the, um, point sheet in it. This is for my, it's actually a host pack. I guess I, I guess I should call it that. Uh, it, this is a host pack for somebody who is hosting a party, um, and who wants some testers or something to take to their work or family or whoever. But let me go through these first and then I will, um, move on to that. So here are the other, uh, pieces of advice that I got from my top two people who were helping me out. Uh, let's see here. Follow up. If someone comments on something in interest without purchasing, follow back up with them, right? Um, for me, and based on that Visly uh, template that I saw, I really like the idea of having the host follow up with them. You know, hey, we saw that you commented on, on you know, such and such, a mini fan diffuser. Uh, can I help you pick out a color? Can I help you pick out some scents for it? Um, I really like my mini fan, you know, whatever, something like that. Especially if your host has, you know, experience with that product or wants to try the product even better, right? Um, themed six packs are super important. Bakery, fruity, etc. cetera. Uh, if people like what they see, they'll order the whole pack. We all know, we all know already that a six pack's a great deal. You buy five, you get one free, right? And most of the time, if people are gonna order, they're probably gonna order a six pack, most of the time. Um, by the way, don't sell yourself short on buy three, save a dollar because I've had people buy three to save that dollar. It will happen and it's an upsell and it's a great idea. Don't just say, don't avoid the three pack just because you're only saving a dollar. You tell them about that three pack because it's a good chance they're gonna buy that three pack even though they're just saving a dollar. For me, I would buy the three pack. <laughs> Cause I'm that person, I'd be like, oh, hey, that's a great deal. I'm gonna freaking buy the three pack. Don't have money for a six pack, but I'm gonna buy a three pack cause I'm gonna save a dollar. So. <laughs> Um, but theme, themed six packs and Caitlin actually shared some more themed six packs that she made today in our group here. You can also find them in other groups. Um, you can probably search the web. Just make sure when you share images like that, that all of the, you know, scents are still available. Sometimes you'll find older images that some of the scents are not available anymore. Um, one of them told me that they started selling starter bundles, which is a mini warmer and a bar for $26. No price change. Um, but it makes people think it's a deal. So you sell them, okay, it, you're a Cincy newbie. Okay, well, let's get you a starter pack, you know, get you a mini warmer and a bar, and you're only gonna pay 26 bucks for it. What a deal. Well, that's a regular price, but they don't know that. You're, you know the prices for Cincy because you're a consultant. Your customers, they don't know that. They don't know that. Um, and I think that's great for a starter because literally all you need is a mini warmer and a bar. And that's going to start you on Scentsy. And guess what? You're going to get hooked on Scentsy because you're going to love it. Um, but I think that's a really good idea. I, when I saw that, I was like, that is so smart. <laughs> um, okay, so here's some more. Uh, keep the post organized and easy to follow. Wax and warmers one day, unplugged one day, clean and laundry one day. I really like that. Um, I had been doing that, but I think for me, I haven't been doing enough... Um, uh, real life photos, which is the next piece of advice. Post real life photos instead of stock photos when possible. People, and, and I, I I should know better because I tell you guys all the time, you know, when you're sharing Scentsy, we're sharing Scentsy. We're not just trying to sell a product. We're trying to share our experiences with the product. And so we need to show how we're using the product in real life. You know, I need to show my warmers or uh, my testers or whatever the case may be, my wax bars, you know. I'm trying to see what else I got over here. I don't think I got anything else over here. Um, but I need to show how I'm using Scentsy. And I'm saying that all the time with your story, your Instagram stories, your Facebook stories, your posts, all that different stuff. 
Um, but people in parties want to see that too. They want to see how you're using the product. And I know I said that it's more important for the host to share this, and it is, don't get me wrong. And I think the host should also be sharing real life photos. Um, but it's the same deal for you. You also need to be posting real life photos when you can. Um, there's actually uh, multiple groups that people will share their real life photos and they'll allow you to use them. So since he's pretty sharing about that, everybody's really uh, great about sharing content, sharing photos that way, even like staged photos and things like that so that we can use those and not have to use stock images for the workstation. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the stock images, but it's a lot more personal and people are gonna relate to it a lot more if they can see this, oh, this is in somebody's home, you know? And somebody's using this, or this, oh, this is how they're using this. This is how they're using counter clean. This is how they're using dish soap, bathroom cleaner, whatever the case may be. Um, share bundles. Of course, everybody wants to save some money, right? Uh, Laundry Love, Classic Clean, Moisture Medley. Those are three bundles that we have. We also have our uh, six packs of wax, travel tins, scent circles. Uh, what else? Scent packs. We've also got the uh, three pack of fragrance flowers. That's a pretty good deal. I would buy the three pack if I was buying fragrance flowers, although I'm stocked up for a while. Um, and emphasize the savings. Uh, let's see here. Also, listen, six pack for $30. Okay, whatever. Buy five, get one free. That sounds totally different. Make sure you're advertising it as buy five, get one free. Uh, let's see. You can, you can say that it's $30, but make sure people know that when they're buying, they're getting the six free. Uh, let's see here. Also, share other bundles like car kits and themed six packs. So, again, with the themed six packs, and then the car kits. Um, some people will do a room spray. I guess I shouldn't say a room spray. It's not really as much for in the car. But like a, a travel tin, a scent circle, and a scent pack. Or a scent circle and uh, I don't know. I can't think of anything. But you get what I'm saying. It's a it's a scent pack. It's a bundle that you're putting together, and you don't have to discount it anymore. You can just say, hey, you know. For instance. Travel tin scent bar or travel tin scent pack and scent circle. All three of those items have a buy five, get one free, right? So you can tell people the price of that, which would be what? Seven plus three is 10 plus five is 15, right? Yes, it'd be $15 for that pack, for that car kit, right? So you pay $15 per car kit. They can choose all their scents. They can mix and match all they want to. And when they buy five car kits, they get one free because each one of those has a bundle and save for buy five, get one free. That's a pretty good deal, right? Um, and a lot of people, most people have cars. So guess what? That's a great stocking stuffer. That's a great uh, teacher present. That's a great anybody present because like I said, most people have cars. That's a great Uber driver present, right? I don't know. Maybe you got somebody you, you know, like a lot. I don't know. Uh, message, excuse me. Message guests or have host message guests personally. I found that some people can't find the link or have trouble using the site. Older folks or people who don't shop online much uh, and they don't want to bother asking you for help. That's the truth. I, that's another one of those. When I read that, I was like, Ding, ding. That totally makes sense. You're not bothering people when you're following up with them. And don't get me wrong. I'm the worst for thinking this. Oh my gosh, I'm bothering this person again. I'm texting this person again. Oh my gosh. You're not bothering people. When you are when you or your host, preferably the host to get in my opinion, um, are messaging someone personally and saying, hey, can I help you out? Hey, do you need anything? What can I do for you? Right? That's great customer service, whether it's you or the host. Either way, it's great service. That's great customer service. You're reaching out to help them if they need help with anything. And maybe they say, no, I'm good, thanks. Or no, I can't buy anything right now, thanks. My pleasure to help you. Great. You know, it. it's fine. It's not going to kill you for them to say no. Um, but maybe they do need help. and may, Or maybe they want you to place the order for them, right? Maybe they need a link. 
something like that. But most of the time, people are not going to want to text you and ask. Would you want to text and ask somebody about it? I don't know. Maybe you would. Me? Probably not. I'd probably just look around in the group until I lost my mind trying to find the link or whatever. Um, keep the host and guests updated on the progress towards the goal every couple of days. And uh, I'll get to the next one next. Keep the host and guests updated on progress toward the goal every day. You're here to reach a goal. And I think it needs to be made up front, made, made clear up front with your, you know, guests that uh, your host has a goal. How do you make the, first of all, how do you figure out the goal? Well, first of all, if you're, if you know your host wants to uh, flip that party and maybe join as a consultant for zero dollars, you know you definitely need to get to 500. Um, if you're, I, I also recommend having my uh, hosts make a wish list. Make your wish list. If you get whatever you wanted, put it on that wish list. And then we're going to make a goal to see if we can get all of it for you. Right? Now, if they put the whole book on there, y'all got some work to do. But you can do it. It doesn't mean anything. I've seen parties that are extremely high in sales. Because you know what? They were working it. Um, thank you post for each guest that purchases. I don't put what each person purchases in the post but what I do do is uh put a little graphic that says thank you for your order and I uh say thank you and then tag the person for your order such and such tag the host uh and I really appreciate it and we hope you enjoy and then I tell my host if she usually they do it already uh, but I tell them to go ahead and comment on the post, thanking them as well. Or they can send them a text message or something like that since, you know, they know them. Uh, and so they can say thank you for the purchase and for helping them out on their party, right? Again, it, good customer service. Those are all the tips I have there. And I think just even it, just that is going to be, and I say just that like it's not a whole lot, but it, it's a good amount of stuff. That is good advice. That's really good advice. And I'm very excited about it because that's exactly what I was looking for when I asked them for advice. I said, you know, send me your top five or ten tips for online parties. Because I need to do better. And I want to help everybody else do better. But I can't do better. I can't help everybody else do better when I'm not doing them better. Right? So I need y'all's help. Um, I did want to send this though. Because I want uh, to send or I want to give you an idea of what you can send someone uh, who wants to host for you and who wants to have some testers on hand for people to sniff. So I got these little things on Amazon and I got them probably a couple years ago. I don't think I have a link for them, but you can probably just get like little pencil cases or something like that. I think it's see they're about nine and a quarter by almost seven so I'd say ten by seven nine by nine and a half by seven um, for the dimensions on this but I put in and I like it because it fits my order forms I don't know if the new kits come with order forms anymore I know they weren't for a while but I think maybe they do now not a hundred percent sure um, what I do though is I highlight the places that I really want them, the customers to fill out because some people are also going to, some people do online parties. Some people, a, a lot of my people like to do online parties and kind of a bag party. Um, and that's where this little bag comes in. So if they want to do a bag party too, so they can take it to work, take it to their family, people can actually sniff the scents. I put these in there. I'm going to highlight uh, date, host, uh, name, address, phone, and email. Those four are extremely important because if you're new, you may not know this. Um, when you have the name, address, phone, and email of someone, if they go to Cincy.com and they go to place in an order, if you have those four uh, pieces of information in your work, recorded in your workstation already, the, auto, the order will automatically go to you if they don't pick a consultant. So it'll automatically go to you, which is really nice. Really nice. Um, I also highlighted quantity, product description, just to tell me what it is. 
uh, the total cost, and then sales tax, subtotal sales tax, and sales, or excuse me, total amount. Because that's really all I need. I don't need credit card information on here. I really don't want credit card information on here. And the good thing about these order forms is they have, a, it's a carbon copy. So they have information on the back of them about our lifetime replacement warranty. I just, I just found out a couple years ago, Stacy. Maybe not even that long ago. Um, but on the back of these order forms, it has information about our lifetime replacement warranty, uh, which you know comes for our uh, you know, warmers, mini fans, all that different stuff. Uh, our 30 day satisfaction guarantee, our notice of cancellation, um, which means that, you know, you may cancel, here's what it says at first, you may cancel this transaction without any penalty or obligation within three business days from the transaction date on the reverse side of this form. Uh, there's more than that, but I'm not going to read the whole thing. So there's a lot of important information on the back of these and then a customer really should have in their hand. So it's a good thing to complete this and give it to your customer or give them the other two, you know, copies uh, or for your host to anyway. And then she can either take pictures of the form and send it to you or she can ret return them to you with the bag. Um, disclaimer, if they join, I usually just let them keep the bag and everything. Now, one of the things that I usually include in these, uh, partly because it's flat, partly because it's a totally different uh, product besides wax and warmers, excuse me, and partly because it's a fairly inexpensive product that I really like to get people hooked on um, so that I can sell more laundry, and because I love it, um, is a dryer disc. And I put a little sticker on here and it says, toss this disc into your dryer for sensational smelling laundry. I know I'm crazy. Uh, enjoy this sample as my thank you for hosting a party. Be sure to post rev your review in your party. Be sure to post your review in the party. So I tell them to use this and specifically tell them to put their review in the party. Tell people what they think about it. Cause guess what? You get two of these for seven bucks. It's not a bad deal. You get three packs of two for 21 bucks, you're saving a 21, $20, and you're saving a dollar. So, it's a great deal. And you get 30 loads out of a two pack, at least, usually more than that for me personally. I also have a couple of graphics that I put in there. Um, this tells you a little bit about what's going on. I know this is probably backwards, so I don't know if that's gonna help any, but. Um, this gives you a little bit of information about what we have. Um, I think this is in Avery along with this one. And on the back, it's got your host rewards. I wrote in my phone number down here to text in case anybody has questions, of course. And then the last thing that I started last year, I think I probably have told you guys about my Linktree QR code, which is free and I love it. Um, I have put, I've been putting these little simple stickers on things. Super simple sticker not hard to make. I make them in Avery, as you can tell. Um, and it just says, scan me with your smartphone camera to shop your host party. We thank you for the support. And what I do, this goes to my link tree. My link tree is something where I can put multiple links on there and people can look on there and find their host name and click it. And guess what? They're shopping in their party because it links directly to the website in their party so they can shop there. And this is one way for me to make it easier on the customers to find their host party, right? Um, they don't have to type in anything. They don't have to do anything like that. They don't have to look for a link. All they have to do, point their camera at it, tap the little thing that pops up. There you go, they're in the party. They're in the party. And I thought that was genius. I don't remember who I got that from. I don't remember, but it's super simple for them to do because most people have a smartphone these days. And you know what? If nothing else, they usually know how to work the camera. So, but anyways, I thought I was, am really grateful to my two people, thank you, who helped me with these um, party tips, online party tips, um, because I'm determined to do a lot more parties this year and get my PRV up get some more pay going, and pay some debt off this year. I think we all want to do that, right? And 
I don't know if it's because it was them and I know them. I don't know if it's because it was just all right there in front of me instead of me listening to it over the course of, you know, some training. But it just clicked for me. So I'll copy and paste these and I'll put them in the group here. That way, um, actually, maybe I'll see if I can do a screenshot. That way I can put them on the, in the albums or something. I don't know, I'll see what I can do because I got it in an email for myself now. So I'll see if I can just take a picture and I'll put it in the albums on this group. That way you can refer back to it if you want to. And literally it's kind of just like a step-by-step, -step, you know, of how to do a party. And it's really nice. And it still leaves plenty of room for interpretation for you or, it's, or you know, for you to choose your own timeline for how you want to do it. Um, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. If you, like I said, uh, try out Bisley. I'll put the uh, code for Hostess Coaching uh, on there so you can put it in, or the template, I should say, so that you can put it into Bisley and check out all the posts that were on there because that just gives you, like I said, a lot, literally a timeline for host coaching, what you need to be talking to them about, how many times you should remind them about certain things if they haven't done it yet or even if they have or, you know, continue, whatever the case may be. Um, but it's really helpful to look at. It was really, really helpful for me to look at. You can't just use the template because it's got somebody else's information on it. But it's really, really nice to look at. And it's going to be totally free. You don't have to pay for Bizly until you're, like, connecting multiple groups. So if you decide to use Bizly and you're doing multiple parties and multiple groups, yeah, you're probably going to have to pay for it. But I think my paid version is... $10 a month, it's a tax write-off. For me, it's worth it. Totally worth it. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here because I've been on here for 40 minutes. I was kind of planning for 30, but not bad. I'm okay with that. Um, I hope you got something out of this. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, I will post this stuff in the group, and I hope you guys learned a little something from it. If not, Find somebody on Facebook or find somebody on YouTube that you really like. Search YouTube um, for, you know, Cincy Training. Search the workstation for different keywords on the training center um, to learn how to do different things. It's amazing what you will find on YouTube and, and on Cincy's site. Um, even on Facebook, United We Rise and, um, what's the other one? Elevate. Uh, I think United We Rise is a group and I think Elevate is a business page maybe. Um, but both of those are very, very helpful to me. I really like them. They do weekly trainings and they're very helpful. Thank you, Stacey. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, so I'm going to get off here. I'll see you guys next Thursday and I don't know. Have a good night. Have a good weekend.